So the female rap game is boring now and all of your faves are unoriginal and are doing the same thing. Well the rapper Cupcake seems to think so when she tweeted, if I'm being honest with y'all, female rap is really boring to me now, right now. this generated mixed reviews because it's very broad and she doesn't clarify how female rappers are born. Some people thought she was throwing shots at Megan and Cardi, but she clarified and said she wasn't pointing out anyone, but she just thinks it's boring. Now some people agree with her saying it's boring and that a lot of the stuff now is recycled, and I get why people would say this in terms of mainstream rap. The music is cute, but everyone looks alike now with the same aesthetic and pushes the same messages, which repetition can get boring, and these are the artists that get the most exposure with the machine behind them. Now some disagree with Cupcake saying she's just jealous and bitter of everyone else's success and mad she can't get on, or maybe Maybe she's trolling and trying to get attention like how she did with her diss record where she called out a lot of the female rappers. But I don't think she was trolling with the diss record. I think she was trying to force the girls to actually get in the booth and actually rap. And it partially worked because Sukiyana responded back to Cupcake with bars and it actually brought back the competitive nature of rap. But again, some people still seen this as Cupcake trying to bully herself into the industry because in terms of mainstream success, Cupcake has pretty much been ignored though she's been rapping since 2012. But Cupcake is initiating a conversation that's been going on for a while now. Now Akbar V from Love and Hip Hop jumped in and had this to say, Female rappers only bored cause y'all praise the girls who don't write their own raps who think they are the ghosts with somebody else's lyrics. I feel like I made it too easy for the girls who can't even push the pen and y'all crap on real MCs like me because of a TV show. Now she didn't name anyone but a few artists up to this point have basically implied to not writing their lyrics. Like Young Miami had this to say when it was exposed a little Yali wrote act up. A hit is a hit some of y'all need writers. Period. Plus Cardi B had this to say. I like to make hits. I like to make money. I don't really give a fuck about being lyrical. Now I can see how somebody who actually writes their lyrics would feel some type of way about this. Like Asian Doll tweeted this saying, I write all my lyrics. Everybody who write their music loves saying they write their music. If you get offended, that's on you. I love bragging on myself. She's right. Anyone who writes their lyrics and are proud of their work will never say they don't care about lyricism. At every turn, they gonna tell you they write their own stuff. Like how Nicki will always say, I write my own lyrics. I'm undisputed because I'm the only What's female up, rapper day one. that day one, Wayne. And I don't need no mother ghostwriter. So, right so if That's you're right. telling that lie, you must be real f***ing desperate and you still ain't gonna pop. Wow, ah, okay. I, I, care, I don't let f***ing write my shit. What if what I slaughter these f***ing? Period. So the City Girls and Cardi B have hits, but it's not very diverse and they can't be too surprised when people call out their lack of skill. And at this point, rappers using ghostwriters are not new. I think the issue is that they use some of the same ghostwriters, which is why a lot of the songs overlap. But I think what Akbar is saying is that the rap game would be more interested if people wrote their own lyrics and bought their own perspective. So in response to Cupcake's tweet, Dreezy jumped in and offered a different perspective. She gave shine to all the female rappers who she feel was slept on. She shouted out Rhapsody, Chica, Lady London, Amaretta, Tierra Whack, No Name, Young M.A., and Snow the Product. And I would actually add Ciroc and Lady LaSure to the list as well. Even Cardi B shouted out a few of these rappers. And let me tell you, let me tell you about some rappers that are really fucking dope that be rapping their ass off. And I don't feel like they get the recognition that they deserve. Tierra Whack, Kamaya. Rhapsody, there's this girl called Oraniku. I don't know how to say her name. I don't even know how to say my own real motherfucking name. So shit, don't blame me. But they be rapping their ass off. So when people say there's no variety or all female rappers just rap about sex, that's not true. Dreezy just gave a list of very talented rappers who are very different and rap about different things, but they're just not mainstream. All of this reminds me of the Jermaine Dupri conversation when he said that female rappers rap about the same thing, which is true to a certain extent about all the mainstream girls at the forefront with a few exceptions, but anyone making this statement is probably not checking out the other female rappers that Dreezy or Cardi mentioned. So at this point, a lot of the rap in general is on the same wave. I do think that in order to get some actual variety, you have to check out the rappers that don't get much exposure. And I think that's what Cupcake and Akbar sands that a lot of the girls now are on the same wave and that's why it's boring. But I do think that in order to be a successful female rapper, you have to fit into a certain mode and that's why we keep getting served the same dish.